Hello and welcome to Yourpedia. My name is Aman Sharma and I am your mentor for CSC at Yourpedia. So today we will be doing some questions from algorithm that were asked in the NIC scientist B exam. So the questions that we will be doing are, so the first question is, you have been given a recurrence relation and it is saying that for a given recurrence relation what will be the time complexity. So the recurrence relation is for t of 0 it will be equal to 1 and for t of n it is equal to 2t n minus 1. Now we will use substitution method in this. So if t n is equal to 2t n minus 1 then if I put t n minus 1 I can put t n minus 1 as 2 into t 2t n minus 2 and if I simplify it it will be n minus 2. Now after that if I again substitute it it will be equal to 2t 2 into t raised to bar n minus 3 and if I solve this it will become 2 raised to bar 3 t of n minus 3. So you can see the pattern that when there was n minus 1 there was 2 raised to bar 1 when n minus 2 2 raised to bar 2 when n minus 3 2 raised to bar 2 uh, 2 raised to bar uh, when n minus 2 was there, there was 2 raised to power 2, when n minus 3 is there, there is 2 raised to power 3. So if I do this substitution, if I continue to do this substitution, the point where I reach, let us say that I have uh, I have done n minus 1 substitutions. So then it will be 2 raised to power something and t will be n minus n minus 1. So when there is n minus 3, there is 2 raised to power 3, when n minus n minus 1, there will be n minus 1. So this will become 2 n minus 1 into t of 1 and if I do one more substitution which is the last substitution that I have to do it will be 2 n minus 1 into 2 t 0 which will be equal to 2 raised to power n into t of 0 and t of 0 has been given to you as 1 t of 0 is equal to 1 so if I substitute t of 0 equal to 1 it will become 2 raised to power n into 1 which is equal to 2 raised to power n so t of n when using substitution method is solved further will give you 2 raised to power n. So the time complexity will be 2 raised to power n. So the correct option will be option C. Now let us move on to the next question. The next question is dash sorting algorithm has the lowest worst case complexity. So you have to find the worst case complexities of all these algorithms and the algorithm which will be having lowest worst case complexity will be our answer. So for selection sort, now how does selection sort works is, let us say that you have a array 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So by comparing, by making n, n comparison or n minus 1 comparison, 7 will be compared with 6, 6 is smaller, then 5, then 5 is smaller, then 1 more comparison, 1 more comparison, 1 more comparison and 1 more comparison. So n minus 1 comparison will be made and 1 swap will be there. So when one swap will be there, when you have found the lowest animal, you will replace it with the first element and the remaining array will be like this. Now this operation will be performed again on this. Now this time n minus 2 comparisons will be there and one swap. Now if I do this again, when you found the minimum element 2, 2 will be replaced with 6. So it will be 1, 2 will be sorted and 5, 4, 3, 6, 7 will be there. So we will continue to do this. So in every case at the last step there will be only 2 comparisons and 1 swap. In every case, whatever case you take in selection sort, always number of comparisons will be equal to order of n square and number of swaps will be order of n minus 1 and if you combine these two times selection sort time complexity is always n square. Similarly for bubble sort it will also again be n square. Now for quick sort, if I do quick sort, in the best case the array will be divided into two equal parts and if I use master theorem here the time complexity will be co will come out to be n log n. But in the worst case when you select the pivot and every time array is divided into, into two parts such that one element is there and remaining elements are present here. If pivot is dividing like this, not in the power of n, 
then that will be the worst case what quick sort so the expression will be t of n minus 1 plus t of 1 plus order of n so this can be written as t of n minus 1 plus order of n and if you solve this uh, if you solve this recurrence relation the time complexity will come out to be n square so in normal case in average uh, in best case the time complexity is quick sort for quick sort is n log n and for the worst case it is n square so we have to calculate the n worst case time complexity so for quick sort it is n square for bubble sort it is n square selection sort it is n square now as far as merge sort is concerned in merge sort every time the complexity will come out to be n log n in every case in best case in average case in worst case so in if you take worst case of all the elements here if you take the worst case of all the elements here so we have written down the worst cases best or the lowest worst case complexity is for merge sort. So the correct option will be option C. Now let us move on to the next question. So the next question is number of leaf nodes in the rooted tree of n nodes where each node is having 0 or 3 children will be equal to what? Now if you draw a rooted tree, let us say that we draw the minimum smallest rooted tree with 3 nodes, with 4 nodes. So the number of nodes in this case is 4 and leaf nodes is equal to 3. If you increase, if you give children to one node. So initially this node was a leaf node but as it will have, uh, as in the future uh, we have given it some uh, with uh, 3 uh, children, this will not act as a leaf node. So one leaf node is subtracted and when three leaf nodes are uh, added to the system, three new no leaf nodes are added to the system. So if you see this, total number of nodes here are 7 and total number of leaf nodes will be 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when we give three, chi uh, we, uh, give three children to some tree, one leaf node will be reduced because it will become internal node. Now this node has become internal node. So when you add three new leaf nodes in the system, one leaf node will be will become uh, internal node and there will be these three nodes so overall if you do the overall calculation initially there were three leaf nodes now there are five leaf nodes so on adding three leaf nodes every time the number of, uh, on adding uh, the number of uh, total leaf nodes in the system will increase by two only so by adding three nodes uh, three new nodes the number of leaf nodes are increasing Two. and you can check it also you can uh, verify it also because if I increase by this uh, logic if I increase the nodes by 3 total number of leaf nodes will increase by 2 and you can check this also if I draw this there are 10 nodes but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 leaf nodes in the system so we can see a pattern emerging here for the next case there will be 17 and 9 so for every three new nodes, two leaf nodes will be added. Now you can do two, two things, you can use brute force here, you can uh, push these values, uh, you can push the value of n as 4 and if the answer comes out to be 3 and for 7 it comes out to be 7, for 10 it comes out to be 7, then you can verify that uh, th that is our correct answer but if you want to see the pattern here and if you want to see the if you want if you are seeing uh, able to see the logic behind this every three new nodes two leaf nodes will be added so if i see this option b option whenever some nodes are when whenever you calculate this uh, by using this formula plus 1 will be always will always be there whether n is equal to 7 or whether n is equal to 10 plus 1 will always be there but whenever you plus 1 by 3 and whenever you increase the number of n by 3 whenever you increase the number of nodes by in terms of 3 you are adding in terms of 3 nodes every time when I do this this 3 will be 
cancelled out and the, the factor remaining will be 2. Every time I increase the total number of nodes by 3, this 3 will uh, cut this out and the leaf nodes, the formula for leaf nodes is expanded by the factor of 2x. So every if you add 6, the leaf nodes will increase by 4. If you add 3, the leaf node will increase by 1. Sorry, uh, 2. And if you, uh, you can also check this by putting the, uh, these uh, values in this. So the correct option will be B. Because every time this x, n is, put, uh, n is uh, substituted as 3x, that is you are adding 3 child to the, to the system. Every time this 3 will cancel this out and your leaf nodes will increase by 2, always 2, 2x by 2x by 2x. So this is the correct option for this one. So I hope you understood the concept behind these questions. So for more videos, uh, you can uh, follow, uh, you can go on our site. We have uh, launched a module, module on NIC where we will be covering the, all the topics, uh, whether they are theoretical or whether they are uh, regarding to the numerical questions. And we will be covering all the sub, uh, subjects uh, that will be asked in the NIC exam. So I hope you like the video. So keep watching and keep sharing. Thank you.